Ah, lovely. My god, woman, how many traps are you gonna detect? Ow. Dickhead. As you say. All right, let's get all the loot and go. Trap right ahead. Thank God, more Alfred. Jesus, we needed it. All right. Oh, wrong thing. There's so many traps around here. Jesus. Avoid them, boys. All right. Now let's get back safely, please. Thank you very much. All right. Let's hope this get oh, this place gets replenished once we have the uh, the Arl back in good stamp health, good standing, good health, whatever you want to phrase it as. We want him healthy again. That's what matters. We need him to be healthy again. All right. You return. Might you have news? I found the urn. You have? Wonderful. Let us go at once to Eamon's side and see if the urn's healing powers live up to their reputation. been deathly ill for a very long time. Do you remember nothing? Deacon? What are you doing here? Where is Isolde? I am here, my husband. And Connor? Where is my boy? Where is our son? He lives. Though many others are dead. There is much to tell you, husband. Dead? Then it was not a dream. Much has happened since you fell ill, brother. Some of it will not be easy for you to hear. Then tell me. I wish to hear all of it. Ah, uh, here's the tale of what has happened while you've been passed out. This is most troubling. There is much to be done, that is true. But I should first be thankful to those who have done so much. Grey Warden, you have not only saved my life but kept my family safe as well. 
I am in your debt. Will you permit me to offer you a reward for your service? I need your help against the blight. That will do. I understand. Regardless of your motivations, I feel you are worthy of a reward. I would like to honor your efforts. Nothing more. As you wish, then. Then allow me to declare you and those traveling with you champions of Redcliffe. You will always be a welcome guest within these halls. And for you, Warden, a shield of the same make as those that have been given to our finest knights. Thank you, Your Grace. We should speak of Loghain, brother. There is no telling what he will do once he learns of your recovery. Loghain instigates a civil war even though the Darkspawn are on our very doorstep. Long I have known him, he is a sensible man, one who never desired power. I was there when he announced he was taking control of the throne, Eve. He is mad with ambition, I tell you. Mad indeed. Mad enough to kill Caelan to attempt to kill myself and destroy my lands. Whatever happened to him, Loghain must be stopped. What's more, we can scarce afford to fight this war to its bitter end. But you can invite and unite the nobility against Loghain, can't you? I could unite those opposing Loghain, yes. But not all oppose him. He has some very powerful allies. We have no time to wage a campaign against him. Someone must surrender if Ferelden is to have any chance of fighting the Darkspawn. But once everyone's learned what he's done... I will spread word of Loghain's treachery, both here and against the King. That it will be but a claim made without proof. Those claims will give Loghain's allies pause. But we must combine it with a challenge Loghain cannot ignore. We need someone with a stronger claim to the throne than Loghain's daughter, the Queen. Are you referring to Alistair, brother? Are you certain? I would not propose such a thing if we had an alternative. But the unthinkable has occurred. You intend to put Alistair forward as king? Tegan and I have a claim through marriage, but we would seem opportunists no better than Loghain. Alistair's claim is by blood. And what about me? Does anyone care what I want? You have a responsibility, Alistair. Without you, Loghain wins. I would have to support him for the sake of Ferelden. Is that what you want? I... B but I... No, my lord. I see only one way to proceed. I will call for a landsmeet, a gathering of all of Ferelden's nobility in the city of Denerim. There, Ferelden can decide who shall rule, one way or another. Then the business of fighting our true foe can begin. What say you to that, my friend? I do not wish to proceed without your blessing. I say we proceed with your plan. Very well. I will send out the word. But before we proceed, I believe there is the matter of the mage, my son's tutor. He still lives, I understand. He does. He is in the dungeon, brother. Have him brought here, Tegan. I wish to see him. Mm. What will you Gallant, do with him? What you have done is not in question. You tried to assassinate me and set into motion a series of events that nearly destroyed everything I cherish. What have you to say in your own defense? Nothing, my lord. Other than to say I am sorry. I expect no mercy for what I have done. I see. Grey Warden, have you anything to say on Jowan's behalf? He seems earnest in his desire to repent. Oh, that is unexpected. And what would you have me do? As the injured party, my ability to see the merciful path is strained. Give him to the circle of Magi. True enough, and wisely said. Jowan. I hereby turn you over to the Tower of the Circle of Magi. May the Maker have mercy on your soul. Thank you, my lord. And goodbye, my friend. Now, back to the matter of the landsmeet. 
It will take some time to recall my forces and organize our allies. I would prefer to wait until that is done before calling the Landsmeet. In the meantime, I suggest you pursue the remainder of the Grey Warden treaties. We will need all the allies we can get if we are to defeat the Darkspawn Horde. Mm hmm. Ah, we have more level ups. And actually, no, we won't end here. I'll continue on a little longer. Just enough to squeeze in a, two episodes out of this. We're close enough to it. Oh, what the... What does that leave? Well, I'll explore Redcliffe a little further. Um, we need to get the help of the elves. And I think the dwarves? I think. Mm -mm. I think this is all... I think we've actually explored this, honestly. Let us move on. Where's the way out of this godforsaken place? Let me out. Let me out. Please. I just want to be free. I need to sell stuff. I need to level up. I need to do a lot of things. Come on, game. Free me. Hmm. On to the village so we can get, uh, oh god, get some stuff sold, stuff like that. Game, please. Game. Thank you. That's what we needed, very much so. Where's the way back down? I must locate it. I'm tempted to do is uh, to ask Alistair what his feelings are towards, you know, being made king. Actually, let's go ahead and do that now. Ready. Oh, I, uh... Something on your mind? Of course. No, oh, never mind. God damn it. I was going to ask him about his opinions on it, but uh, apparently that doesn't matter. Now, give me all of your Elthward. I require it. If it isn't the hero of the day, what can I get you? Right, I've got some supplies too, in case you're interested. With the store closed down, it doesn't hurt to pick up some of the slack, eh? Alright, I think I'm gonna end this episode off here, looking across the water and at the small town of Redcliffe Village. Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked the video, leave a like. And if you want to see more from me, why not subscribe? And I'll see you all next video. Bye-bye.